the question is uh, i want to serve my uh, i am in teaching profession i want to serve nation by making youths capable but when i see my friends earning in lakhs i think i should quit teaching profession and join corporate what should i do i have read your wonderful book teacher it inspired me a lot so my answer is please read the book again teacher as a torch bearer of change where i have mathematically proved that the best profession the noblest profession and the highest profession is that of a teacher there is nobody greater than a teacher in this world if at all any change can be brought about by teachers only to so read the book again and second advice to you is suno sab ki karo man ki how to realize divinity within i had uh, quoted a paragraph of swami vivekananda from raj yoga there the reply is given each soul is potentially divine the goal of human life is to manifest the divinity within how by controlling nature external and internal and how this can be done by four methods do this either by work or worship or psychic control or philosophy by one or more or all of these and be free this is the whole of religion so there are four methods swami vivekananda says raj yoga consists is of eight steps yama niyama asan pranayam pratyahar dharana dhyan samadhi yama consists of five satya asteya brahmacharya aparigraha ahimsa and niyama are also five shauch santosh tap swadhyay isha pranidhan so in a nutshell practicing raj yoga means practicing moral values ethical values ethics and morality in daily life and then also practicing meditation meditation is seventh step and ultimately culminating in samadhi that is deep samadhi that is deep meditation so that is raj yoga what is bhakti yoga religion of love where you love the highest love the greatest if you have swami vivekan says if you have to rob then why not rob the whole bank rather than robbing only one person's money rob the whole bank that is why if you want to love love the lord and by loving the lord you will never repent कितने बार वो लड़के लोग आते हैं उसके साथ प्यार किया वो दूसरे साथ चली गए काहे को क्या देखना चाहिए ना पहले वो तेरे से प्यार करती थी ना तेरे स्कूटर को प्यार करती थी तेरी कार को प्यार करती थी पहले से देख लेना चाहिए तो एनी anyway, स्वामी विवेकानंद सेज इन इज बुक रिलीजन ऑफ लव वेरी नाइसली सेज देर कैन नॉट बी एन इन्फिनिट लव बिटवीन टू फाइनाइट रियलिटीज changing all the time and their moods also changing all the time and both going toward death so there can be an infinite love between the infinite atman and the infinite parmatman and that is religion of love that is bhakti yoga <laughs> third is gyan yoga to know who am i sat chit ananda this is my nature who am i am i the body no today my body is acting i am not the body because my body then am i the mind no my mind is not good today okay so i am not the mind so am i the intellect no my intellect is not working today so i am not the intellect then am i the ego no my ego is very strong i will tell you what how how it will be done so i am not the ego then who am i i am beyond body mind intellect ego chidananda rupa shivoham shivoham i am the birthless deathless ever pure ever blissful atman beyond all this intellect mind and body this is gradually again and again thinking over shravan manan riddhi dhyasan that is gyan yoga and then fourth is karma yoga karma yoga is doing the work with a spirit of detachment and spirit of unselfishness these are the two words which will make the difference between karma and karma yoga so try to do unselfish service and swami vivekananda says unselfishness is more paying in the long run 
unfortunately, people do not have the patience to practice it. Unselfish is more paying in the long run. So karma yoga is unselfish service and also trying whatever work we are doing, trying to do it in the spirit of worship. How? By refining our ego, it can come in two ways. Number one, remaining detached with the spirit of, with the willpower or surrendering our fruits of karma and our karma, everything to the Lord, if you believe in the Lord. So, for those who believe in the Lord, I have found out a very uh, simple method of converting work into worship. And that is sandwich sadhana. What is sandwich? You know, uh, these mothers, they know how to prepare sandwich. Prepare a piece of bread, take a piece of bread, okay, and then put some masala, cucumber, tomato, chutney, butter, cheese, whatever you want to put, you put into that and put another piece of bread. Sandwich is ready. So similarly, get up early in the morning. Okay, if whatever time you get up is your early for you. I know for most of you youngsters, very difficult to get up early because that's the time when you go to sleep. So anyway, whenever you get up, pray, Oh Lord, whatever whole day I will be doing, it is the work is dedicated unto you and the fruits also dedicated unto you. This is one piece of bread. Now go on doing work whole day. At the end of the last life, I'll go glide into sleep. Oh Lord, whatever I have done for the whole day, I dedicate unto you and the fruits also dedicate unto you. That is the second piece of bread. And that is sandwich is ready. So start with the prayer, whole day working, and then last again prayer, that is one sandwich. Now you can make small sandwich also. Before while going to office, oh Lord, whatever I will do in the office, I will try to do good only. Not, uh, <laughs> not bribing and all that, that does not come under karma yoga. <laughs> so whatever work I will do, at every day dedicated to you and the fruit dedicated to you. And after coming back from the office, oh Lord, whatever done in the office, dedicated to you, the fruits dedicated to you. These are the small sandwiches also you can make, prepare. With this sandwich sadhana, you can convert work into worship. And try to make it as unselfish as possible. This I have told in a nutshell, I have shown you the trailer. Now you go through the whole film. Raj Yoga, Bhakti Yoga, Gyan Yoga, Karma Yoga. These are all the books written by Swami Vivekananda. You will get detailed information there. And the books are available in the bookshop outside. Or you can go to Ramakrishna Mat Khar and get all the books. But, and also, if you really want to study more Vivekananda, it is also there, it is a part of the complete works of Swami Vivekananda. Well, that will be more profitable. Because if you, come, if you uh, just try to purchase all these four books and some other books, then by that time, in within that budget, you can purchase the whole nine volumes of complete works of Swami Vivekananda and then go on through all these yogas, letters and lectures and all that. But anyway, I have given you the, again, I am telling you how to manifest the divinity within by practicing four yogas. You can do any one yoga, but Swami Vivekananda says better to combine all the four yogas and that is how the monks of Ramakrishna order, how do they do? How the devotees they do, early morning we have meditation, that is Raja Yoga. Then we have Mangal Arati, that is Bhakti Yoga. Then we have also reading from Gita, chanting Gita Slokas, that is also Gyan Yoga. Evening again we have prayer, Khandana Bhavandana, that is Bhakti Yoga. Then we have meditation, that is Raja Yoga. Then we have reading from Kathamrita, the Gospel of Sri Ramakrishna, that is Gyan Yoga. And whole day working for the society, working for the Lord. Shiva Gyane Jeeva Seva, trying to worship the Lord who is present in every human being. This is how we are trying to practice all the four yogas. You can find out your own method of practicing the four yogas and thus manifest the divinity within. Thank you. As a youngster, what steps can we take to make our country glorious? Hodin K. Sheikh, RD National College, Bandra West. First of all, I would like to congratulate the student who has asked this question because very few students think about their national development. So first of all, I want to congratulate that you are thinking at what steps can we take to make our country glorious. Wonderful question. Now, there are various ways in which you can make our country glorious. Number one, whatever situation where you are placed, 
If you are a teacher, you can make a contribution. If you are a government officer, by doing your work honestly, you can contribute. Now, as if you are a student, you have to study with full concentration and with full sincerity and try to get the knowledge rather than just passing the examination for marks. So if you really get knowledge, then you will be able to transmit to others and then try to take a line by which you can change the world. By, that is later on. But now, most important thing that Swami Vivekananda said for the national development is, he said, national development cannot take place unless until the character development of the citizens take place. This is the equation you must remember. We had a youth convention on National Youth Day, 12 January 2006 in Porbandar, when Dr. Kalam, A.P.J. Abdul Kalam was invited, at the time he was the Rashtrapati, he was the President of India, he was invited to inaugurate Vivekanan Institute of Value Education and Culture. There were 5,000 youths. He gave a very beautiful talk. And this was followed by question answer. And so one student stood up and he said, Sir, Operation Duryodhan, Operation Chakravi and other operations have rebuilt the tip of the iceberg that is rampant and corruption in the country today. As the President of India, how do you think about it? And whether to be lies the solution. Then Dr. Kalam stood up and said, Already MPs, have, the action has been taken on MPs and then he took up a book of Swami Vivekanan and read out a passage from the book of Swami Vivekanan where Swami Vivekanan says no number of parliament acts can make a nation good and can make a nation great. Then what can make a nation good and what can make a nation great? What can make a nation glorious? Then again he read out another passage from Swami Vivekan's book, where Swami Vivekan says, only a large number of good, enlightened citizens can make a nation good, can make a nation great. Only a large number of good, enlightened citizens. <laughs> then he also said further, and the government cannot produce good people, and the government will not produce good people, that also he told. Then who can make the good people? Only three persons can make India great. How? What, how? Only three persons can make your character. What are the three persons? Father, mother and the teacher. These are the only three persons which we can produce, which can change the character, which can have the development of the character. Ek ladka tha, bada shaitan tha. Chup chap rahe, to bethta hi nahi tha. Ab kya kare? Uske pita ne ka, dekh, aaj mujhe bohat kaam hai, ja. मैं तुझे काम देता हूं पास के कमरे में जाना जब तक काम वापस नहीं होगा वापस मत आना ठीक है अब पिताजी सोचा क्या काम दू सारा दिन वो बिजी रहेगा मैं भी अपना काम कर सकता हूं तो उसने क्या किया पिताजी ने भारत का नक्शा लिया उसके छोटे छोटे टुकड़े कर डाले जा भारत के एक करके उसको मालूम है छोटा बच्चा ज्योग्राफी का नॉलेज है नहीं और कहा काश्मीर कहा कन्याकुमारी कहा आसाम कहा गुजरात ये सब करते करते सारा दिन निकल जाएगा कहा महाराष्ट्र ये सब निकल जाएगा और मेरा अपना सारा दिन चला जाएगा मैं अपना काम कर सकूंगा लड़के को भेज दिया पास के कमरे में दस मिनट में लड़का वापस आ गया एह तुझे बोला था ना काम निपटा क्या ना काम निपटा क्या हूं देखो देखा तो भारत का नक्शा परफेक्ट नक्शा काश्मीर कन्याकुमारी आसाम महाराष्ट्र बंबई पुणे नागपुर सब अपनी अपनी जगह पर है अरे कैसे किया बोले तो बहुत सरल बात है अरे भारत को एक करना सरल बात है राष्ट्रीय एकता इतनी बड़ी समस्या है नेशनल इंटीग्रेशन सच ए प्रॉब्लम तो सारे देश को एक कैसे किया तो उसने कहा पिताजी मैं तो बैठा था सब लोग टुकड़े टु, लेकर के बैठा मैं करने लग गया पर उसको समझ में नहीं आया तो मैं क्या किया मैं टुकड़ों से खेलने लग गया खेलते खेलते देखा मैंने वहां पर मनुष्य उसके पीछे में फोटो के पीछे में एक मनुष्य की छवि है तो मैंने मनुष्य का हाथ पैर सिर सिर्फ करके पूरे मनुष्य को चिपका करके ठीक कर दिया तो सारा देश अपने आप ठीक हो गया तो स्वामी विवेकानंद का मैसेज है मनुष्य का निर्माण करो मनुष्य के चरित्र का निर्माण करो जब हमारे देश के प्रधानमंत्री हमारे देश के मुख्यमंत्री अभी नए वाले हो पुराने हो हमारे देश के मंत्री हमारे देश के आई ऑफिसर्स हमारे देश के आईपीएस ऑफिसर्स हमारे देश के बिजनेसमैन हमारे देश के टीचर्स हमारे देश के सब लोग 
वो लोग यदि उनके चरित्र का निर्माण होगा देश का पुनर्निर्माण अपने आप हो जाएगा I am eldest son of my present. Uh, my family condition is not good. We live on rent. Don't have home. I am don't know about my future. Do not know what to do. How come from poverty? How to make our own path? I have pressure from my family. I do not see any light. Please read the book of Swami Vivekananda. Biography of Swami Vivekananda. You will find out. Swami Vivekan lost his father. He was also the eldest son. You are also the eldest son. Swami Vivekan Narendra Dutt was also the eldest son. In 1884, his father died, and suddenly, and he was from an aristocratic family. But his father was so generous that he gave so many, so much money to so many other people, and these people never bothered to return. Not only that, his uncle, he became his enemy. He took out the house. and they were driven out of the house they were homeless at least you are in rented house they did not have a rented nor no rent to also pay and imagine an aristocratic boy with his younger brothers and sisters with his aristocratic mother they are all on the on the road imagine and how swami vivekan faced this question and not only that you will be a surprise to know swami vivekan was one of the maybe he is the greatest intellect of the the world has ever seen the greatest intellect the world has ever seen and yet swami vivekananda had to go from door to door to apply for a job apply apply no reply even he had to face the problem of unemployment and then he went for some temporary job under this for a, as a teacher in the ishwarchand vidyasagar school but he was man of pride he was man of self 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 uh, glorification self uh, confidence so he did not succumb to the pressure then he had to leave without job for so many days and there were days when they did where the whole family went without food and yet he did not lose faith in god he did not lose faith in yourself so keep up those two type of faith during this condition one faith in yourself faith in god and you just go ahead along with your self confidence whatever little earn man money you can earn you start earning rather than weeping over oh what will happen to me in future try to build the present future automatically will be golden try to do the something what you can do in the present and the future will follow bhutkal ko bhul jao bhavishya ki chinta mat karo vartman mein jiyo yahi hai pyare jeene ki kala